Dun 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 dun. Welcome. It's Alexia here from Ace Five Studios, and by popular request, and I mean really popular. So many people ask me, they're like, "Hey man, how do I make a little cartoon planet?" And everyone's like, "I'll show me how to make a cartoon planet." And all the other people are just like, "Yeah, cartoon planet is the best." So I'm gonna show you how to make a pretty simple cartoon plasticine type of planet. The first step is I got a vector file from the internet of our planet. Uh, the next step is this is way too complex, so you want to jump in like double click it a couple of times maybe until you can select different continents. There you go, and you want to select the big stuff that's important. Oops, it's not important. Come on, control click. Why am I? Ah, great demonstrations. There you go. No, oh my god, how many times have I clicked into this? Let me just. <laughs> My illustrator skills are not as good as my cinema 40 skills. There you go. Important land mass is selected. Press Control C, Control A, Delete, Control V. Ta da! We have our simplified uh, terrain stuff. Um, now we're going to File, Save As, and Save It as World Map Simple. Well, that's what I call it anyway. It's called Simple 2. Press Save. And here it's very important make sure this is Illustrator 3. And press OK. And then you can open your Cinema 4D. Whoops, this is the right ready planet. Let's make a new file. And we drag in our world map simple too. We press OK. And we have our world map simple. Now let's turn on our grid and world axis so we know where we are. So first thing you want to select all of these, middle click on them, and right click and go connect objects and delete. And you have one vector file. And then you want to reset as PSR. So Shift C, reset, PSR. There you go, it's in the middle. Now let's start by simplifying this thing. So let's go into point mode and you go select all and go round. And just click and drag. Boom. Too simple. Undo. Let's hit like 120 here. It's pretty good. Now you see these things, you're going to want to delete this stuff. That's not useful because that's just going to mess with all your extrusions. Now, this guy definitely needs some less points there. So let's change this guy's like 20. There you go. And Australia there has a, you know, a bit too much points getting fat there. Let's do 20 as well. There you go. Whoops. This looks like Australia. Now let's undo it. Let's give him like 30. There you go. And also probably select all of these and go beast plane or cubic. There you go. Much simpler, although that looks kind of messed up. So let's just select these points and delete them. There you go. Yeah, Japan's missing as well in most of Southeast Asia, but what are you gonna do? You wanna round them out as well a bit. You wanna get rid of these. Oh, I don't know why, okay, let's try these plane. Still, see you're getting these, whoa. Two more rounding. So you wanna get rid of this stuff here. Like this is not good. You don't wanna have these really sharp edges. They're gonna mess with your extrudes. Maybe this one is too not necessary as well. And there you go, it seems pretty decent for the most part. Yep. So our next step is we're gonna throw it into an extrude object. So hold the Alt key, extrude. Now mine by default is set to zero, but you wanna set like 25 here. And then it's extruded. And then you wanna make a, let's see what it's called, a wrap deformer. And you wanna select all these and go Alt G so they're grouped. As you can see, we have the Earth kind of wrapped around a cylindrical shape, but planets are spherical, so spherical. And you want to start from the back and end at the other back, and you want to start at minus 90, oops, 90, and finish 90, so it's a full sphere. As you can see, we have a bit of breaking going on here because our surface is not, it's all end guns and stuff. We turn on wireframe, Turn on extrude. If we turn on wireframe, you can see that all right, they don't have polygons there. So we go to caps and we change this to quadrangles. See, that's kind of the ugliness we're dealing with. And press regular grid. And we make them a bit smaller. Whoa, nope, too small. Let's stick to like one, no, nope, five. So five is decent. Turn it back on. Oops, turn it back on. Also, if you notice, if this happens, 
you can just double click on this and it'll leave it out. There you go. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere, but we seem to have too much wrapping. Did I put something? Are we wrapping too far around? Did we go around twice? Yes, we did go around. No. Ah, no. The problem is that, yes, so this will be zero. Well, let's turn this off for a second. Is we want our planet here, our Earth map here to fit inside this box, inside this square. There you go. And now we can turn it on. And now it wraps around once. And as you see, it's a bit squashed around the middle. So let's just drag it up and scale it vertically. Once again, while still having the extrude selected there. And there you go, we're having our nice little, a bit smaller, too much, there you go. And the next step is we want to put this into a sphere, we'll want a sphere there in the middle, which is more difficult than you expect. Put the sphere, try to get subdivisions up, because you need to do some maths. You need to have a look at the size of this, which is width is 400. So you probably want to put this to 400, which is too big, so 200, yeah, it's half. And then you want to move it over 100 units. I know I said this is hard, but it's really not that hard. Just some basic maths. There you go. And just make sure that its coordinates are, in fact, 200, apparently. There you go. And you just scale it down a bit. And we have, turn off wireframe, we have our little planet. Where's our little materials? Material. This guy will be green. And we'll apply him to terrain. And we'll control drag it. This guy will be blue. We'll apply him to the sea. And ta da! Cartoon planet is complete. Well, actually, we can also add some bevel, but this does break things sometimes. But let's live on the edge. They say if you don't risk, don't drink champagne. Fill a cap. Oof, big. One. Better. Steps. Aha, bevel worked. Almost first try. Uh, let's take this great single object. There you go. Nice plasticine little planet, which you can use in your animations. How great was that? Back into five minutes? Nah, seven minutes. But still, I think this qualifies as a quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my website for more stuff. Check out my five man. Check out all those stuff and leave comments and, you know, request tutorials if you want. That's always fun. So yeah, over and out. Have a good day.